Hi everybody, we're up to activity free now and uh, we're at the beach here. I'm taking some inspiration for this activity for the stones. Obviously we're going to be working on slightly smaller stones than these ones. These have a, you know, such a valuable thing about preventing erosion in the beach and things. So we wouldn't be taking stones from the, from the beach, of course. We'd be painting our own stones that we find. You can find them in the garden or you can purchase them at shops. So there's something about a place like this, you know, that's meaningful. You can gain peace and uh, you might want to put a stone at this place. So you make a, a meaningful message, a design on the stone, maybe even just some beautiful colours, just, just something to inspire people. And I think it's lovely during this time of year when it's been a challenging time during the lockdown. And, uh, you know, when many people have been stuck indoors, we, we can go out outdoors as well for, for those times where we can get away from it all. So um, this, is, this is a great activity to help, you know, to express some kind of powerful emotion and maybe you want to share it with them. So, so let's, let's have a go at it. Stunning place. Yeah, you can see obviously the theme of stones. Obviously the natural, natural currents have left these stones and it protects erosion. So we wouldn't be taking them from here, but just to get, to get that inspiration, you can see you get many different stones from a polished pebble there, which you could paint on. So you can also find them in the garden, but uh, yeah, maybe this could be a spot where you could leave your, your pebble somewhere that feels significant. Yeah. So a memory stone where someone might find it, you know, with a message on it, so like keep safe or support others. Yeah, it could really help in this time. So yeah, try it. Let's go and have a look at another place that's enjoyable. Here's another place, the importance of stone. Up in the coastline. Stunning spot at Milford on Sea. Let's take a look around. Brilliant. Here's another amazing spot, Spartan on Sea. Yeah. Of course, there's also the new forest, of course, beautifully spot here on the plains. Of course, one of the top places in the new forest. Amazing place, Wilverley. It's very busy today. Look at all the people today. <laughs> now here's another beautiful spot. Yeah, definitely recommend this for a great walk. Really amazing. A lot of animals come to graze. It's an inspiration of activity one. Yeah, check that out as well. Could be a place where you could put your stone. Yes, this, obviously we know about the amazing trees here. People build things here as well. Such a beautiful location. And definitely people will see it, especially on a summer's day. Okay, so, you know, it's one of those wonderful evening times down the beach and we've gained so much peace getting in the outdoors, you know, during this time. You know, we've been in lockdown, but we have been able to go out and explore a little bit around the local area and, and these things are really meaningful. So it's, it's really a, quite a profound activity, I think, where you can leave something memorable in a place where, where you feel a sense of peace. Okay, so you can hear, see a set of stones here that I've collected from the garden. So you can pick pick one out that you like. Yeah, that would be quite nice. And then maybe just go with the flow really and see what comes up. Just paint something, it could be paint meaningful colours and explore it. So let's go for it. See one thing you can do with a stone is to you see the contours in the in the stone, you can actually follow them with the brush. So you might not know what you're doing or a mark you're making, but actually stone can actually tell you the actual patterns in the stone can actually you can actually create something with that yeah so I'd, I'd recommend using uh, just acrylic paint for this for painting on stones it can be quite good another thing you can use you can seal it of course with the glitter glue and things but you can also you buy some um, some spray varnish from the shop from an art shop you can buy that as well that can be good to seal the stones. 
Okay, so we're at the uh, painting stage of the stones. You can see that you can buy some stones there quite quite cheaply and uh, send them off online. They're, they're quite nice pebbles to paint, so we're going to have a go at them. Obviously, normal brushes you need. Uh, here's some stones that we've done. I've done here. Actually, um, it's quite interesting. You can use uh, glitter, glitter paint, put with glue, and you add them with normal acrylic paint, you get a sort of a shining effect. Yeah, they're quite glittery. Okay, here you can see the finished stones. You can sort of give these stones to different members of family and friends. And uh, you can see a variety of techniques that people have used on there with paint, acrylic. You can see over here there's a heart shape there. Let's see a bird, there's flowers. There's some more natural colours, some glitter glue has been used. There's even a foot there, maybe footprints in the sand and where we tread. Some messages of take care and be safe. Um, so they do have sort of, everyone has their own meaning when create these stones and it's quite therapeutic activity to do. For me I did the ones where I was inspired by some natural colours to following the contours of the stones and it reminded me of the sea and the stones, you know, right from the beginning when we, we saw the video of the, of the beach with the stones there, they had the inspiration for the stones activity. So, so it's about finding an area that you feel, feel comfortable and peaceful with and it kind of that's the inspiration for doing the stones um, and we'll actually put these some of them at, at the stone the stone snake in our local area there's a sort of stone snake winding its way down the path so it's uh, and it's about community spirit really during these tough times so so have a go at it and it's um, it's a really rewarding uh, creative activity to do so thanks a lot Let's go and put these stones then somewhere special. So I wanted to show you some of the idea about uh, painting stones and it's like a memory stone in a way, you could call it that. So something meaningful. Look at the ones that people have painted here. We're in, uh, we're in Everton. So have a look at some of the thing. You can see that it stretches all the way along there. So let's have a look and follow it. Do you want to step all the stones. Some amazing inventive colours as well and also of course ones like dedicated to the NHS. So, yeah. But really cool thing. Yeah. Of course the rainbow we know that symbol well. And of course it can be the other thing as well. Okay, the stones safely put up in the box, in the car, uh, ready to be taken to uh, the pathway of stones. Yeah, I'm sure there's one in your local area, it's very meaningful uh, in the Limington and Pennington area. Okay, so here we are at the snake trail for the trail of stones. We're going to add our decorated stones now today. Yeah, you can see it comes along. Final part of the activity. So let's walk along. See it's huge stones have been decorated. So yeah, I think it's a lovely thing people have done, and it's a, I think this is a, good, a wonderful uh, end to the activity. And we began looking at stones we could place in the environment, but then we came across this idea, and I think, yeah, this is really meaningful. So here we are towards the end. We're going to put the stones down now. Okay, looks like a, a mini in there. Yeah, so here we go. Classic sign of the rainbow. A lovely bird. Lovely, lovely footprint. See what you can do. Very creative. And I think, uh, yeah, there's a heart shape. 
Brilliant. Take care, everybody. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, what a brilliant activity. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, everybody. So, uh, yeah, fantastic. Okay, everybody, we've, we've finished, we've placed our stones down. Uh, we've had a, yeah, it's been a really fun activity, we've enjoyed it. I think it was quite meaningful, you know, placing those stones that are meaningful and that support the community. So, uh, so have a go at it, everybody, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed the activities. Thanks very much. Hi, all. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed that activity. For me, it was pretty, pretty meaningful. And uh, yeah, go out and go, get those stones, share them around, you know. I think uh, it's such a, a lovely therapeutic activity you can do. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, all these fun activities and uh, yeah, we'll see you all soon.